What's up you guys? Back for another video. I'm excited today out on my local stream, well one of my local streams. It's kind of a perfect day to be out here in October fishing. Got a stretch of water behind me. I'll show you guys what that looks like in a second, but I was thinking it might be kind of fun to do a challenge and just fish one section of water for three hours, see what we learn, see how it is to fish. It's kind of an interesting set of water because it's got kind of some ripple sections, some weird like back eddy stuff, um, some glidey stuff. It's very interesting water along this section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it up into three different sections and I'm gonna fish each section for an hour. And I'm gonna kind of see what happens in each spot try to catch the most fish I can in each spot or see kind of what happens. I think it could be fun to limit myself to just that one single stretch of water and see what happens. So I'm gonna get my rods rigged up and head down there to the river and see if we can find some fish. This could be fun. Also, this is in a spot. If you know where this river is, you'll know where I'm at and that's fine. I thought it could be also kind of fun to fish water that lots of people fish or that they might drive by. Sometimes I like to test it a little bit and see if I can catch fish in places where a lot of people fish, right? Where the fish have a little bit more pressure on them. That can be like a little bit of an extra challenge that I think is fun. So I'm gonna grab my stuff and head down there. Okay, so I made it down to the water and I'll show you guys kind of what this looks like so you have an idea of it. But this first part that I'm gonna fish is kind of a back eddy thing tail out of this huge run. It's deep, it's kind of churny, but it's got this real slow edge on it and it kind of glides out. And there's not a lot of structure there, but sometimes you'll find fish there. So let me show you guys what this kind of looks like so you can get a picture of it. So I don't know if you guys can see, but you see that's kind of back eddy, real deep. And then it, it kind of turns into this glide here. And it's, it's coming right back at us. Kind of has some weird waves to it. I'm gonna rig up three rods. I'm gonna have a dry dropper on the Euro a single nymph on the Euro, and then I'm gonna have a dry fly rod. I don't know if I'll have to use the dry fly rod, but I might run it through some of the shady areas and just see if we can get some BWO eats on that. You never know, sometimes it's worth a try, especially if we don't end up finding something right away. We might need to change techniques and kinda see what happens and take it from there. So let's get rigged up and then I'll hit the water. Okay, slight change of plans. There was some some people that were gonna drop their boat in down there where I was gonna start. So I think we'll start at the head of the run and I'll show you guys what that water looks like. But uh, we're gonna start there just until these people leave and hopefully we can get that lower end for an hour later. So let's jump in this section and find some fish. I'm hitting start on one hour. Here we go. Time is going. I'm gonna fish this edge right here with the dry fly. Okay, I had the wrong rod, so went back and grabbed my dry fly rod. Got a little emerger. And just wanna see if we can get a small fish to eat on this edge real quick before we switch over to a nymph. They probably won't eat this but I just wanted to fish this edge before I disrupt it with a dry fly. It's a little sunny. The dry fly might be a bad idea right now. Okay, we're gonna go grab dry dropper rod and go back through this a little deeper with the nymph on there. Okay, back at it. Dry dropper here. And let's see if we can get him to eat a nymph off this edge. I think the nymph is a lot better bet, most likely. Nothing so far. Just keep kinda working up it in hopes that we can, oh, there's a good fish on the caddis. Sick. That fish ate so slow and he came up and ate that dry fly. That's so cool. That's funny because I put it that, BWO emerger through there, didn't want it, but man, you saw that caddis dry. It came up and slurped it so slow, that was sweet. Sometimes you find those fish sitting in that, that riffle shallow stuff. October dry fly eat, good fish. We are on the board, fish number one. Man, I am super stoked with that. 
I mean, that is just a beautiful, healthy fish. Let that rainbow go. Cool. On the board, one fish. And interesting, he came up and he ate that black bodied caddis that I got on there. Let's see if we can get another one. So I'm going to hit this shallow stuff over here. You never know. Ooh. This must have been touching bottom there. Might have to go to a little bit lighter bead. Okay, I'm gonna switch to a single nymph. And fish this back section again. Single nymph. Let's see if we can find a fish back here on a single nymph off this back edge here. I'm probably spending too much time on this spot. I'm gonna move up real quick. Okay, so I've moved up to the head of the run and I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second. But it's kind of riffly and pooly and there's some deep, fast water. There's generally some fish holding in here. I'm gonna fish the bottom half of this run, I'll show you. Okay, so I'm gonna fish the bottom half of this first on that dry dropper and see if I can pick off any fish. And then I'm gonna switch to a single nymph and I'm gonna work up the run and see how many more we can get. So let's jump in there. We've got about 30 minutes left and let's see how many more we can find. Okay, so jumping back in here. It's kind of a weird spot to fish because you've got this kind of back edge. And then there's also a riffle to my left. And the river kind of does like a direct L. So it's a little bit weird water to fish because you don't want to spook fish up above you. Okay, it seems like there's some fish up in this kind of faster riffle here. There's a fish. Oh, a double. Let's hope we can get both of them. Nice. Got to get that lower one first. <laughs> They're not big, but I'll take them. Two and three. Okay, there they are. Hopefully you guys can see that. This one ate the dry, and this one ate the nymph. Okay, two and three, dry my fly off and see if we can get some more out of those riffles there. Okay, we gotta dry it out. We're up to three fish. Let's see if we can get some more out of this really shallow, riffly stuff here. Okay, we're gonna move push out even further that real fast water. Okay, I've pushed a little bit further out into this water. Up into this. See if we can get that fish to eat again right here. Okay, I'm bailing and going back down. Try to hit that one spot one more time. into something big. I don't know if I'll be able to land him. Probably land it right as time expires if I do. I mean it's luckily I've got some slow water here. It's probably a big white fish. Or it could be a big shovel mouth sucker. I can't see what it is yet. It's a big sucker. 
but it still counts. <laughs> we won't count him. But that's one way to end. <laughs> that's hilarious. Too funny. Big old sucker. See you later, bud. Okay, so that's the first hour done. Um, what did we learn? Well, we learned that shovel mouth suckers like to eat quiltagons. Apparently that was kind of a cool sucker. Wasn't expecting that in that spot, but we got him, it doesn't count. Uh, we got three fish. I'd give that session a C minus if I was rating it, or four out of 10, not great. Uh, you know, I think I missed three or four other fish, so potentially could have caught seven to eight. Um, so I'm a bit bummed about that. I'm not really sure what the strategy should be should be for the second hour. This next set of water is all slow and back eddy and deep. Um, I think I'll probably run a dry fly through the, the shady stuff, and then I'll probably just go nymphs on this um, and just cycle through my box quickly to see if there's anything that they're kind of keying in on. Because so far I haven't really been able to pattern anything. So let's jump into this next spot and give the next hour a go. And hit and start. There we go. Let's see what we can find. Thought I would hit this edge here because sometimes in this real soft, slow stuff, there'll be a uh, some bigger fish just chilling. Okay. Switch over to the nymphs. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get something to eat the nymphs. There's a fish. A rainbow. Get some side pressure on all lose them. I also don't want them to spook everything else in there. head up into the net nice fish number one for the second hour ate the quill to gone there nice little fish and he's back let's see if we can get another one let's make quick work of it hopefully there's another fish little guy on the quill to gone again there might just be more fish in this type of water here. Three. So now we've, in the first 10 minutes, we've uh, got our entire quota of the first hour. So. He ate the little BWO nymph. Cool little rainbow. Let it go. There's a good fish. Bigger than the others for sure. Try to keep him out of that fast water. Oh, not that big. But not bad either. Ate the BWO nymph. Okay, fish number four. And away he goes. Ooh, bigger one. So there's a bunch hanging out in this kind of zone here. You can see this fish is kicking my butt. I need to concentrate for a second. Get this fish back under control here. That's a good one. I'll show you guys this one. So, let him go. And away he goes. There's probably some more in there willing to eat. We've gotten five or six so far. I've lost count, so I'll put the count on the screen. The fish looks like he ate the quiltagon. Gosh, this fish is just 
kicking my butt and it's not even that big. Okay, I'm putting the count on the screen because I can't even, because I don't even know how many that is. I've lost track now, so I think it's seven. Okay, I don't gotta check the clock because I've just been in this one spot and I still have a lot of this run left to fish. Okay, I'm gonna move up. Okay, dropped back, or I've gone forward a little bit, and I just want to see if I can get any more fish out of this before my hour is up. There's a fish. Got him in the net. That's nice. Woo. Cool. Let him go. Oh, there he goes. I don't know what number that is. I can't keep track for you guys. I think it's eight, maybe. I don't know. You'll see on the screen. Okay, let's see if we can find another one. Oh, I slam dunked that one right into the net. Okay. Oh, well, that fish was a disaster. Okay, so that's session number two done. I don't know how many fish that was. I think we got to double digits there. Finally found a white fish, caught a bunch of rainbows. It seems like the fish are in that deeper, slower kind of water, which is what this section of the session was, was that deep kind of slow. Well, it's not necessarily slow, it's just deep and churny. And uh, there was a bunch of fish in there, so that's cool. The next spot is different. It's deep and slow, still a back eddy, not a lot of structure, more of a glide type feeling to it. And uh, we're gonna jump in that, see what we can find. I'm not sure about that, what the technique will be. I might have to dry drop some of it because it's real flat and slow and a little bit stagnant, so I might have to run a dry dropper through there and see if I can get some fish to come up and eat a nymph. Uh, it's a little bit harder water to fish, so should be good to give it a try. Let's uh, go check it out and see what the next hour has in store for us. Okay, guys, starting that timer again. Okay, and let's see what we can find in this spot. Ooh, fish on the first cast. Not bad, not bad. Get him unhooked real quick. Little BWL in the corner of his mouth. Cool fish. Let him go. Go in again. There's a fish. Oh no. Is that a chub? Or a pike minnow? What is that? That is a pike minnow. Look at that, pike minnow. Huh, not counting it. Change spots. I think the trout are probably in this more active water right now versus that real slow water, which I was kind of thinking they would all be in the, the slow water since the water's actually colder than it has been, but Oh, there we go. I don't want my last hour to be pike minnow hour, if I'm being honest. Sheesh. Well, guy, but we'll take it right now. Right now, I'm not getting much. I'm gonna switch patterns. Streamer time. fish on the swing. I'm assuming it ate the streamer. Yep, it ate the streamer. A rainbow. Right before the time ends. Now, it's a white fish on a streamer. Well, we'll take it because uh, 
we were kind of like the whitefish streamer bait. third session was uh, an interesting one for sure. Only a couple rainbows on those pike minnows. I think overall we were in the 20 range on the fish, which is pretty cool. Uh, sometimes I think it's fun to limit yourself to that kind of water and just try to problem solve and see how many fish you can get if you just fish one area and you don't just hop from spot to spot to spot. Of course I picked the spot, but uh, I felt like it was a good, a good mix of water to fish for three hours. You know, you kind of had that riffly stuff and you had that stuff in the middle that kind of proved to be the best water that was like kind of deep and faster. And then you had that slower stuff that wasn't that great, um, but was still fun. Uh, so the, the flies that worked today were the streamer, got one on the swing on that streamer. And then uh, mostly it was that BWO France fly that was really, really killing it today. You know, they were really wanting that fly today. So that was cool. And you know, overall they were after those kind of muted flies and uh, you know, but you can see there's also a variety there. They ate a bunch of different flies. So it's just kind of cycling through. I think I used about 12 to 15 patterns and, and those, you know, five were kind of the ones that, that seemed to work. That, that dry fly eat this morning was really awesome on that caddis. Don't have that happen that much out here, especially kind of in the middle of the day. And uh, we got that surprise shovel mouth sucker. It was kind of interesting. So overall fun day. And uh, let me know what you guys thought of the session. Have you ever done anything like this where you limited yourself to a section of water? Let me know down in the comments, that'd be cool. And uh, until then, I will see you guys in the video again next week. Until then, go catch some fish. Yeah.